Hello everyone, this is the remote shutter release. It's basically a control to trigger your camera from distance. The idea is simple, you use a remote control to activate a servo motor where you press the cable and you have a photo. And everything is controlled by an Arduino. First, I need to be sure that the servo was capable to push the cable and trigger the camera. So I made this servo looking holder for the cable and servo. And it worked. For the moment I was happy and I could move to the next step. The radio control was simple, uh, I just followed some tutorials and it worked, nothing fancy here. So as you can see, this thing is terrible and not reliable, so I went after another solution. I found this project on Tainverse, who converted the circular movement in a linear movement uh, which is exactly what I needed and worked really well but then how to attach the cable to the actuator so using the previous model I designed this new piece, uh, it has a holder for the cable and I made as well uh, new plungers, it has a notch for the cable but it didn't bring any advantage at the end and here you can see everything works with the battery already and you can see in this clip the, the cable will slip off the holder But I was confident that it will work, so I moved on. I needed a container to put everything inside, so I designed this one. I tried to make the smallest as possible, but just the battery packs huge. But I think I made it, and how it works. I put some features like magnetics for the um, for the lead and I think that's it, I think it works. As you can see here it's 3D printed, not in resin in normal filament, but looks great, I like it. And here is just a time lapse of me assembling everything. Have zero experience with electronics and everything so it took a long time but in the end everything works which is good so that's it
if it is too much for you or overkill, you have two really great alternatives. A uh, pneumatic shutter release cable, it is basically a long cable, or a timer who is called auto nips, I think. Um, the cable for me sometimes was a bit short, especially because I only have the 127 millimeters on my RB, so it makes it a bit tricky to get some wide shots. And the timer is just, I don't like to rush, you know, you have 10 seconds to activate the timer and run to be in frame. It just does not appeal to me. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to make your own, you will find some information in the description. Bye bye and ciao.